My name is Lisa Homan and I'm the Cabinet Member for Housing here at Hammersmith and Fulham Council. I'm excited to be able to launch the Council's new Disabled People's Housing Strategy. This is our plan to make housing services better for disabled residents through provision of services that have been shaped and influenced by and for disabled residents. The strategy was co-produced with disabled residents. Co-production means disabled people and decision makers working together. We are working together to plan, design and review policy and services that affect disabled residents' lives to remove the barriers they face. As well as co-production, in our work, we use the social model of disability. People with impairments are disabled by the barriers they face in society. And so we focus on removing these barriers, recognising that people are disabled by physical, attitudinal, economic and environmental barriers in society. And therefore, the focus should be removing these barriers. Lots of the plans in the strategy are based on the report by the Disabled People's Commission. Nothing about disabled people without disabled people. You can read the report on the Council's web page. Disabled residents were also involved in working on the strategy in different ways. In this video, we'll summarise the strategy's four main objectives and how we're going to achieve them. My name is Jane Wilmot, and I'm a disabled resident living in the Hammersmith and Fulham. I was delighted to be part of the steering group that helped create this strategy. I'm going to take you through the four objectives starting with co-production. The first objective is to create a culture of co-production with disabled residents. This will enable disabled residents to work with the council to train housing services so they meet the needs of disabled people. To achieve this, the council will encourage disabled residents to join their local resident involvement team. Secondly, the council will work on a co-production strategy with disabled people's organisations in Hammersmith and Fulham, including organisations led by people with learning difficulties. And the council will provide information on how to access help and support. And finally, the council will know much, want to find out much more about disabled residents and the housing services they need and want. The second objective is to make housing information much more accessible. Information should be clear and easy for everyone to understand. The council will find better ways to explain services they provide for the daily residents. For example, a deaf person can ask for a BSL interpreter for their housing setting. The council will provide easy read version of important documents. The council will work with disabled people's organisation to ensure that many more disabled residents know about the council housing services. The council will also update its web page to make it accessible. The third objective is to improve housing services for disabled residents. Unsuitable housing can impact and help and social care needs. People can lose their independence and it can affect their well-being. The council wants to work together in different ways to improve housing services. For example, working with disabled residents to look at a disabled facility grant and adaptation services so it works better for everyone. The council will ensure that all staff know about disability equality by providing relevant training to all staff. 
Another idea is to work together to update the accessible housing register, the council's very own list of all the accessible property it owns. The council will aim to keep adaptations in home from people without, so another disabled person can use it. The final objective is finding ways to offer more accessible and affordable housing to disabled residents. The only option for some disabled people might be new housing. The Mayor of London and Hammersmith and Fulham Council have said that 90% of all new housing must be accessible and 10% must be wheelchair accessible housing. The council plan to provide more accessible, adaptable, supported and extra care housing for disabled residents. The council wants this housing to be much more affordable. Disabled residents know best about the housing and services that they need and want. That's why we want to work with disabled residents to deliver the aims of this strategy. We're setting up a delivery group to work together on the strategy action plan. The delivery group will be made up of disabled residents. I will co-chair the group with a disabled resident. The group will keep the strategy action plan up to date and make sure that we meet our goals. Working together, we can make housing services better and fairer for everyone. Thank you.